Well, now you thought that was a clickbaity title, but it isn't. In this video, I will share with you the connection between semen retention and what it takes to become a Navy SEAL, and you will find out that there are striking similarities. You will understand what I mean after I have explained semen retention, dopamine, and the effects of semen retention. Semen retention and NoFap is not the same. Semen retention is about avoiding ejaculation. Masturbation, sex and porn is okay. It's about retaining the semen in the body. Orgasm is allowed, but not ejaculation. If you want to know more about how that might work, here's a video about it. When I did the research for this video, I somehow always ended up with dopamine. Dopamine is a so-called neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitters get released in the brain upon certain triggers and activate target centers in the brain. Dopamine is one of the key players for motivation, focus, the reward system in general, but also sexual desire. Here's a striking example. In Parkinson's disease, we have been using dopamine agonists for a while. In this disease, low levels of dopamine in certain regions of the brain disturb coordinated movement. So we supercharge the dopaminergic system with these drugs to overcome these difficulties. In some patients, dopamine agonists have severe side effects. Gambling addiction and hypersexuality are among them. And of course, both have to do with the reward system in the brain. This may result in compulsive masturbation, hitherto unknown sexual behavior, prostitution, and so on. Very disturbing and shocking to the affected and his family. So dopamine generally is important and plays a central part for our psychological well-being. There are a lot of claims about dopamine when it comes to semen retention, with the benefits of strong confidence, motivation and willpower. This was my starting point for a search on dopamine in the scientific literature. Result? All of this is still much too complex. Nobody on earth understands dopamine. There are too many hormones, neurotransmitters, neurons, circuits sometimes working together, sometimes blocking each other. We have barely scratched the surface of how these things work. To say, do semen retention and your dopaminergic system will react and you will get this or become that is much too oversimplistic. However, when I took a step back, a pattern started to evolve. Ejaculation means procreation and procreation is one of the strongest forces in general. Practicing semen retention means to stand against nature by using willpower. What if you succeed? Well, then you have just beaten one of the most powerful desires on earth. And how does that feel? You're the man, right? You're in charge. You feel good about yourself because you had the endurance and strength to push through and now you get your reward. I don't think it's too speculative to say that the dopaminergic system somehow is involved in that feeling. And here's the thing. I started to think of other situations similar to semen retention. What is another very strong desire? Well, hunger. So I started to do some research about anorexia and dopamine. In anorexia, being in control over the body is one of the key elements. And bingo, there is solid scientific evidence that dieting is rewarded in anorexia by activation of dopamine neurons, which means that being in control not only feels good, you might be able to use that experience to achieve your goals elsewhere. I then stumbled over a former Navy SEAL who now has become a speaker and writes books. In one article, he describes the agony of surf torture, where they make the soldiers lie in the freezing surf for hours. In these situations, he learned to embrace the suck, how he puts it, and talks about dopamine and the reward system, which helped him to push through and pass these tests of endurance. I think now you understand how you will be able to use the experience of semen retention for your purposes and your goals. Who knows, maybe you will use it for becoming a Navy SEAL. However, 
semen retention is one way of learning endurance. There are others. How you do it and what you do is up to you. One thing is for sure though. Achievements in life that you are looking for don't come easy if you don't put in the hard work. With this being said, bye bye, see you next time.